Hey guys, welcome back to Ed's Garage. Coming at you from pretty much the middle of nowhere. We are in Death Valley, and I uh, just wanted to uh, do a quick video on the utility mode on the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6. So, we have been running this in utility mode since yesterday at seven o'clock. It is currently eight o'clock, uh, so 13 hours. And from seven o'clock to about two o'clock in the morning, I had the AC absolutely cranked. As you can see, we're pumping AC into the trailer here. And uh, <laughs> it actually worked pretty good. The reason it was until 2, 2 a.m. is because at 2 a.m., my wife and I both woke up and we were too cold. Um, so that's how good the HVAC system works in the Ionic 6. Now you're probably wondering, well, how much range loss? Well, you're gonna this this may be surprising to you, but the battery went from 66%. And I'm gonna tell you the answer in a second. So yesterday when we got here at 7 p.m., it was still in the 40s. It was 42 degrees Celsius. Uh, now I don't know what the conversion, I'll put the conversion here. Um, this morning, right now, it's about uh, 30, uh, well, actually, it probably says in the car here. Let's have a look. The car states that it is, is currently 30 degrees Celsius. So it definitely cooled off overnight. Um, and in the middle of the morning, or in the middle of the night, sorry, what, 2 a.m., uh, when I went inside to turn the temperature up a little bit, uh, it was still reading, uh, it was still showing 28 degrees Celsius. So at 2 a.m., I bumped the temperature up to what it's currently at inside the cabin here to 19 degrees. And I turned the fan down low, okay? I also did not turn on eco mode for the climate control. So from seven o'clock p.m., to two o'clock in the morning, the climate control, control was uh, in max mode, not on eco mode. The temperature was set to 17 degrees on both sides, so I had this all the way down, and I had the fan speed set to maximum. Um, and then from 2 a.m. till now, it's it was the way it is right now. And we went from 66% to 47%. So in 13 hours, in the middle of Death Valley, which is very dry, I think it's actually harder to cool down dry air than it is to cool down uh, humid air, but I could be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, we only dropped 19%, so that's pretty good. So obviously if you're in the desert and you've only got 20% range left, this is something you don't want to do. Now, keep in mind that the Hyundai Ioniq 6 has an HVAC system uh, that is very, very efficient. It uses a heat pump. Not every electric car has a heat pump. So you wouldn't want to necessarily do this with any electric car. It's, it's you know, only want to do it with, uh, with one that has a heat pump. Um, but I'd say that's pretty good. So that's all I wanted to talk about in this quick little video. Um, in case you guys are wondering what we're doing here, uh, this is, uh, we're, we're, we're doing a cross-continental EV trip. And this is basically part of that series. So if you uh, haven't checked that out, by all means, check out my playlists. Get off my phone, silly bug. Check out my playlist, um, Charging Across the Continent. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.